Computer, which is better, Star Trek or Star Wars? I choose both. Can't we all just live long and prosper while the Force is with us? No way. Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about the Amazon Alexa and Synology NAS. Mainly, how well do these two uh, play together? Because a lot of you out there, and particularly those that saw my QNAP video, will know that there's a lot of difficulty at the moment between getting the Alexa to play your own music. Now, the QNAP users out there, you, uh, QNAP's pretty much directed everyone to use the service IFTTT, um, if this then that. Uh, but where Synology users don't really utilize that because lucky for them, Synology has its own skill for the Amazon Alexa. Now, those that have never owned an Amazon Alexa or are just on the verge, what a skill is, a skill is like a mini app, a line of command. You go to Amazon's own store and there's lots of skills listed there to enhance or just basically improve the synchronicity between the Amazon um, Alexa system and your home, your smart home, your NAS, whatever. Now, Synology have released the Audio Station Alexa skill, and what it does is give you the ability to communicate between this device and your Synology to play back your media. There are a lot of other applications that are available uh, that do little tiny things between rebooting NAS and publishing schedules and seeing what your to-do list is that's on the likes of Synology's Note application, but for the most part, a lot of you out there are just wondering about the multimedia playback opportunities, because, you know, those that have purchased, like the tower unit such as I, um, uh, have got this great speaker system here. And what you want is your MP3s, your audio, what your audiobooks, whatever, being played from this device that live on that NAS music that you've downloaded or purchased or whatever that you want to enjoy in your own home. Now, the um, audio station skill isn't that great, if I'm honest. It's a little bit lacking, and there's a lot of things that it cannot do that it should be doing at this time. Computer ask audio station to play the album dark souls dark souls by subreaches not the right album computer ask audio station to play the song old demon king demon king by incapacity wrong song computer stop computer Ask Audio Station to play Old Demon King. As you can see, it really wasn't recognising that command. I gave it two very clear instructions using the command code that it had given me. Now, if you do want to play the music that lives on your Synology, there is a way around it, but it is not a shortcut. The first thing you need to do is set up a virtual machine in your Synology environment. Uh, to do that, uh, download and install the Synology Virtual Machine Manager, and I should add that you will need an Intel-based CPU and at least two gig of DDR3 memory on that NAS. Once you've set up that VM, you can use either a Windows or a Linux-based VM, get those installed, and then download the My Media application, as well as the My Media skill, so it's just My Media skill for the Synology Echo, um, to the Amazon Echo. Once that's installed, get the two to find each other on your internal network, making sure that you've enabled uh, and the network switch protocol on that virtual machine. So that way the virtual machine is still present on your network environment. Once you've done that, set up a network-based drive to the music on your Synology. I've got a whole guide on this from NAS Compares down below there to show you exactly how to set this up. Once this is done, um, these, a My Media application on the virtual machine will have access and, and to all of that media. Also, the My Media skill on the Amazon Echo will be able to find and communicate with that virtual machine on the NAS and therefore play back the music. And hopefully the result will be as follows. Computer, ask My Media to play Old Demon King. Playing the track called Demon King from your My Media collection. From Dark Souls, in case you're wondering. That's the correct song. Computer, stop the track. 
Thank so you for using my media for Alexa. There you go. So once again, these are the two main really uh, effective ways out there to access the media on your NAS. Of course, you don't need a NAS to do this, and you can install this application on any PC or laptop to access the media on those devices and play them back by the Echo speakers. But a lot of the other applications are nowhere near as polished or as, as easy and facilitating as the My Media app. And I definitely say the audio station skill does leave a lot to be desired. A lot of the reviews, the kind of keyword that's coming out of that is rudimentary and flawed. And you really do need to enunciate every single word. So do take my word for it. The, it's not the end of the road for Amazon Echo and Synology now. So the two can communicate very well and there are other applications available. Likewise, if you've got the Synology connected to a lot of network-based applications and devices, you can give uh, instructions to the Amazon Echo to play on those, much like you could with the QNAP. But if you want to utilize the speaker on the Amazon Echo to play back the media from your NAS, these are really the only two options available at this time, and we're hoping to see more as time becomes available. And before you guys out there tell me in the comments, why not get Amazon Unlimited or Spotify Premium and then upload a bunch of tracks for the Amazon? You can't do that anymore. They stopped doing that um, in mid-January. And as for Spotify, what you want is to play back the music and the audio files that you own and the audio books that you own, not rely on a streaming service. What is the whole point of having all of these files and not being able to have two devices on the network communicate? I'm not going to go as far as to say that Amazon have made a conscious choice to not let you play back DLNA media, but it seems to me a very silly overlap and a, a silly thing to overlook un, you know, unconsciously. And I do think this is something that uh, the Amazon team have kind of willfully ignored. But do check out the guide below to tell you about how to set up the My Media application with your Synology NAS. And don't forget to click like and subscribe there to find out more about these things when they're available and to support the channel. But otherwise, thank you for watching. See you next time.